Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. You've been coming to me, you've been watching some of my videos on fuel prices and fuel shortages. Well, I'm coming with a different warning right now. I've been hearing a lot of it in the last couple days. Crude oil. If you're not worried about the prices, if you're not watching the, fuel, the crude oil prices, you need to start being. It's July 18th, 2022. It, I'm here in Texas. It's 95 degrees at 9 o'clock at night. That's why my APU is running. I'm trying to keep me cool. That's why my curtains are closed. So, this, let's update on the fuel prices. Update about what Joe Biden went to Saudi Arabia for. And let's talk about crude oil and the crude oil prices forecast. So, cue the intro. Okay, like I said, it is July 18, 2022. The EIA has come out with the weekly fuel price index. Gasoline, they're saying, is $4.49. A lot of places I've been seeing it's under four dollars a gallon. Diesel, they're saying it's five forty-three a gallon. I've been seeing diesel higher than that. But let's talk about crude oil. Joe Biden, he flew all the way over to Saudi Arabia. Fist bump a guy. He said he cur uh, murdered somebody. He's pissed off a lot of people for doing that. A lot of people even from his own party. But he went over there trying to get more fuel. And Saudi Arabia basically told him no. Let me show you a photo that was I shared on my Facebook and a few other places. Yeah, that's just to make fun of the situation. Joe Biden flew all the way over there trying to get oil. Didn't work. Crude oil prices are starting to rise because of that. Right now, as I just last checked, which they, they trade overnight, I guess, it's $102.39 for a barrel of oil. And I've already done a video talking about a barrel of oil. It's what, 56 gallons, I believe. That's been a couple months ago. You can watch that previous video about what is in the crude oil, how much fuel does it make. So, as of me filming this, 7-18, July 18, 2022, at right at 9 o'clock at night, it was $102.39. I'm going to show screenshots of this here in a few minutes. The week, the year average, the price for the low and the price for the high for crude oil in the last year. $61.74 on the low end and on the high end, $130.50. And gas was over $5 a gallon, $6 in some areas. Diesel was pushing seven. I saw well, a high as $6.50 for a gallon of diesel fuel. Most trucks get between six and eight miles to the gallon. Just remember that. Some trucks get more, some trucks get less. Average is probably, industry average right now is probably around seven to eight. So, what is the highest crude oil has ever been? Do you remember? I had to Google this. And I'll show a screenshot of that here in a second. The highest crude oil has been $168.75 in June 2008. That's the Barack Obama years, 2008. That was the highest price for crude oil. Now, let me show you those screenshots.
All right, I just showed you the screenshots of what the fuel price is now. $4.49 for the EIA weekly average. I just showed you the diesels, $5.43 a gallon for the weekly average. Barrel of oil is $102.39. July 18th, about nine o'clock at night when I just screenshotted that. The low for the year has been $61.74 and the high has been $130.50. Now prices have gone up since uh, since our president Joe Biden could not get any oil from Saudi Arabia. He went over there trying to get it. It didn't work. Crude oil prices are started a crime because of that. But Bloomberg has done a story, and I'm going to show that right here about warnings about crude oil before November. Right now, like I said, it's $103 a, a barrel. 102 to $103 a barrel right now. They're saying, it's making me sick just thinking about it. They're predicting Russia's gonna shut off Europe on natural gas. In turn, Europe is going to demand more oil. So now it's going to be countries bidding higher and higher for oil. They're predicting $380 a barrel of oil. The possibility of $380 a barrel. $380 a barrel is probably going to be 12 to 14 dollar gallon diesel probably 10 to 12 dollar a gallon gas what's going to happen i say recession depression but here's this bloomberg article I got a box of stuff to take to the house. That's what's in the box. And there's one of my coats in case it rains or it gets cold. But uh, I'm always prepared here in the truck. I got a light coat and I got a heavy duty coat because you never know what could happen. But if crude oil goes $380 a barrel, I just showed you a story. They're predicting 10 to $15 a gallon gas. And diesel always, always two dollars more a gallon now than gas right now some areas gas is under four dollars a gallon hey people going <sighs> but tell you what it's still hurting people's wallets people are going higher and higher in debt just to live unknown fact not many people have this anymore in their wallets it is sad what is happening to America here it is July 18th 2022 they're predicting gas $10, $15 a gallon by election time. 
if Russia does what they're thinking Russia might do. But of course, our President Joe Biden will not take blame. His Green New Deal policies from him and some of the left-wing Democrat party is pushing America away from crude oil. But they want to go to other countries because it's better for the environment to drill the same oil over in Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, all the other countries when we have enough oil under our feet here in Texas, Oklahoma, Alaska, the Dakotas, all over we have oil and oil reserves under our feet. We're also having a problem of refining the oil. What the president needs to do right here, right now, is green light the oil business to do what oil business needs to do. Drill here, drill now. We need to open up the pipelines, build pipelines, and build a couple more refineries. I was waiting for this load here I got uh, near uh, my house Sunday. And uh, Ford Lightning, the new electric F-150, the Hickory Ford dealership had a couple for sale. $93,000. Who can afford a $93,000 pickup that can't go that far? Here is the window sticker for one of those trucks. So let's look at that. The price tag on the window sticker said like 80000 I believe. But online they're selling for $93,000. Well over list. That's what dealers are doing now. Who can afford a $90,000 car payment? I just bought a $44,000 Jeep for the wife. That car payment's pretty high we put a car down we put three thousand dollars down cash and we put a car down as a trade so yeah prices are outrageous they want us to go to electric and they showed on there it takes 10 hours to charge i guess at a regular 110 outlet not one of the super chargers and it shows how many miles you can get on a charge Who's going to sit at a wall socket for 10 hours waiting for your car or truck to charge? I know I can't. The extra power to charge. Our power grid can't afford, it's to not sustain, have enough energy to supply all America to have electric vehicles. Now, batteries in cars are mainly lithium. How do they get lithium out of the ground? Diesel power equipment, front end loaders, etc. Dump trucks moving from open pits of lithium mines. But it's good for the environment. Those lithium batteries are good for like, what, five years? You want to buy a new battery for one of those cars? Twenty, thirty thousand dollars for a battery? Yeah. Green New Deal is making America bankrupt. Like I said, keep an eye on the stock on the crude market. Three hundred eighty dollar a barrel for oil. I just can't imagine it, but they're predicting it by the end of the year. So everyone, I hope this opens your eyes. I've talked about food shortages coming 
and now fuel. I know my grandparents was in the Great Depression back in the 30s. I think that's gonna be good child's play, what might be coming in 2022 and 2023. I'm glad I moved to a different a job at Tyson Foods where we haul food. America's gotta eat, but can America afford to eat? Like my buddy says, Ralph, you'll work because you're a working guy. My father is 79 years old and he still works. I got my work ethic from my parents. My dad, 79, still works. He says he's gonna retire at the end of the year. We'll see. My mom worked through two heart attacks and didn't even know it. We forced her to retire after we found out how bad her heart was. Half her heart was dead and she still was working because she had a backwards heart. So, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumb up the video and leave your comments. What do you think is gonna happen at $380 a barrel? Can you afford 10 to $15 a gallon gas? Can you afford $10 a gallon milk? $8 a loaf of bread? $10 loaf of bread? It might be coming to a steward near you. Sorry to give you the bad news. Talk to you next time. Pray for America. Joe Biden, if you watching this, drill here, drill now. Open up the oil ref oil production here in the United States. Open up the pipelines. Put America to work and build a couple refineries. What's Worry about America, not the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal is going to kill us. Just a fact. While editing this video, I forgot to mention. They want to have, they don't want to drill oil here in the United States because the environment. But it's okay to drill the same oil in Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, and all that. The same equipment needed to drill there but does it take to drill here. But you got to put that stuff in oil ships. And then oil ships burn diesel fuel, bunker fuel, which is actually high sulfur content oil from Venezuela, from Saudi Arabia, from Russia. From wherever and they gotta truck it well not truck it they gotta ship it across the seas but that's better for the environment or is it well we could drill here drill now put it in pipelines send it to a refinery refine our oil send it to a pipeline to a distribution hub and then from there truck it to your gas station what would be better for the environment acquiring minds want to know me as a truck driver I see how oil is transported now remember the videos I talked about biofuel biofuel cannot be shipped cannot be sent via the pipeline Diesel exhaust fluid, what some people call diesel juice. I mean, uh, government juice. That is shipped. That cannot be sent via pipeline. How they ship that stuff is rail car. Tractor trailer or a ship barge. That's how diesel f exhaust fluid and biofuel, biogas or biodiesel is transported. And remember, here soon, winter blend, gasoline and diesel will be coming. Sep the end of September, October. Yes, there is a diesel blend for winter and there's a gasoline blend for winter. If you didn't know it, let me know.
I'll do a video about it because I have a friend who hauls some of the stuff they put in the gas for the winter. Butane, I believe it is. Yeah, they make butane in your gasoline so your cars can burn it better in the winter. If you didn't know. Yeah, let me know what you think.